Alright, so Thrones of Britannia was a decent enough attempt by CA to make a fun Viking Age game. You had fantastic battles, some of the best really in the series, you had some interesting mechanics with stagnated recruitment, deep family and political mechanics, but it had some flaws of course as well, namely the issue of replayability, as after you play a Viking or British faction, you're pretty much done with the game. So why play Thrones when you can play a Viking Age mod for Total War Attila that's basically the same campaign but with a much bigger map. More cultures, more faction variety, more territory and people to conquer, and it's got some really new units as well. The Age of Viking mod converts Attila's Charlemagne DLC into the best Viking experience you can play right now, and in this video I'll be going through everything about it. By the end, I guarantee if you like what you see here, you will have no choice but to try it out yourself. So let's get started. Made on the Age of Charlemagne campaign map, which, though smaller in scale compared to Attila's main campaign, is still one of my favorites for its medieval look and feel. Age of Vikings is a total overhaul mod that tries to be as historical as possible, at least authentic, but also has some slight influences from the Vikings and the Last Kingdom TV shows. So if you're especially a fan of these, you are absolutely going to love this. The mod comes with loads of new factions and factions action-specific historically accurate characters and family trees. There are over a hundred new and unique units across the board that, again, are more historically accurate and look absolutely fantastic. The modding team have done a ton of work to add new traits and edicts, as well as making all playable factions as immersive and engaging as possible with new missions and events. We start the campaign in the year 868 AD and choose from 10 playable factions, though there is a submod called the Faction Pack DLC that you can also download from the Steam Workshop which adds 3 more factions, bringing the total to 13. From the Danes or Danelaw to the Kingdoms of Wessex, Italy or the Emirates of Sicily or Cordoba, there is a real variety in the playable factions that makes this mod highly replayable. As I said, unlike Thrones, where you're kind of stuck with a handful of cultures, Age of Viking offers you the chance to play any of these others on mainland Europe and defend yourself against mighty Viking invasions, or take the Vikings and cause absolute hell for European kingdoms. From a gameplay perspective, the mod might be one of the most balanced campaign experiences I've ever played, and that's saying a lot guys. The Danish kingdoms have proper starting positions for one, which is a huge plus for me, as most mods or even vanilla campaigns don't quite get this right. And even though the Swedes and the Norwegians are missing, the Danes that are present here are immense fun to play. Each faction starts with some very unique circumstances, and because it's on the Age of Charlemagne map, you have lots of cities. lots of potential enemies and allies, lots of potential villages and cities to raid, and fabulous avenues for expansion that normally would be quite limiting in other mods or games. Being the Vikings especially, you literally can just pick and choose your targets, send raiding parties, raid the coast of the Atlantic, slowly expand or even just completely relocate as they did to establish yourself on the mainland. You and I both know the best kind of Total War campaign compels you just to stay one more turn. One more turn, and without a doubt, Age of Viking does this in almost every single way possible. So much effort has gone into making playable factions the best that they can be, polishing off gameplay mechanics that come with Age of Charlemagne, balancing unit rosters, and more. And all of that adds to a fantastic campaign experience that I cannot recommend enough. You've got overhauled missions and victory conditions, there are even characters from the Last Kingdom TV show. It's essentially an enhanced Age of Charlemagne with a major focus on making the Viking factions really fleshed out, giving them real immersion that all leads to a super fun time. 
But they're not the only ones with the unit roster revamps. There are, as I said, over 100 new units in this mod, from Slavic Druzina to Lombard Gassindi to Byzantine Cataphractoi. A ton of historical research has gone into fleshing out all of the unit rosters of playable factions and non-playable ones too, and to bring more variety to them and to the battlefield. I do wish more was done here though. The unit rosters for some factions compared to others are lacking, which seems wild considering there are over 100 new units here, but especially the Viking factions could have done with a bit more variety. Keep in mind the mod hasn't technically been updated since 2016, but still, it's I would say probably the weakest area in the overall content that's been added here. That being said, there are a few sub mods you can use to fill them out a bit. So there's one called 100 Units AOC Unit Pack. It says it's outdated, but it does in fact work with the Age of Vikings mod. And that adds a ton more much needed units here as well to really fill it all out. And especially with the Dane Law factions, get them into a place of much better variety. It's a sub mod, so make sure to put it on top of your load order, or at least above the main mod, and you should be good to go. But even so, I still do wish that the original modders of Age of Viking did make the effort to finish these unit rosters off. The other area that I wish was different is Age of Charlemagne is great, don't get me wrong, because I love the variety of cities and regions and provinces on this map, but after a few playthroughs you really do start feeling the missing North Africa and of course the Norwegians and Swedes on the campaign map. I understand why they use the Charlemagne map of course and I don't think it's a mistake, but I do wonder now with the Dawnless Days map modding tool whether a new developer could take Age of Vikings up again and begin fleshing out the rest of the map with a few new regions here and there, a little bit in the north, a bit of Africa and maybe even some of the Balkans and maybe into Constantinople so we could see some real Byzantine presence on the campaign. That would be an amazing thing. The battles themselves play out like a cinematic Viking movie, and in gameplay, a lot like Age of Charlemagne Vanilla, which is quite good, because the battles here are really, really good. You've got some great siege battles, land maps, and generally, I love the formations and feel of morale and fatigue in these. It all just is super immersive and really fun to play. With the new units in the mod especially, you get to play around with different tactics, with different factions, except the Vikings, of course, they're just full-on frontal assault and slaughtering, which in itself is a pretty fun gameplay style as well. Honestly, this is just pure, unadulterated Total War fun. You can take a raiding party and travel along the Atlantic coast of European kingdoms, rich and ripe for the taking, pillaging small, undefended villages, avoiding massive armies, which is pretty much how it all happened in history anyway, plunder and loot your way into glorious Valhalla, and at a certain point, maybe show up one day in a Frankish kingdom with massive armies and begin a full-on invasion. Or you can play as Wessex, Lotharingi, or even the Emirate of Sicily and fight them off. Expand more and more until you face the mighty Viking armies and face a hell of a challenge. There's just so much opportunity for good Total War gameplay with a very cool set of engaging factions, emergent factions, much more so here than in Thrones. In fact, you could start an Age of Vikings, raiding and pillaging your way, leaving Britannia to itself, and then switch over to Thrones and mount a full-on invasion of the Isles in a sort of settled way. Very cool potential for some interesting tie-in campaigns here. Overall, between all of the Viking mods or games out there, between Thrones, between Viking Age on Rome 2 or Age of Vikings in Attila, it's probably the most fun I've had. Plenty of faction variety, engaging fun battles, all on a campaign map that I adore, especially with the 12 turns per year submod and the medieval UI you can port over from Thrones, being a Viking raider has never been better. I've dropped links to the mod page on Steam as well as a couple of submods I've talked about here in the video description remember to load all sub mods above the main mod in your load order and you should be good to go. And that's it for today guys. Many mods out there that are great, like seriously unforgettable, that were developed years ago are at risk of being lost into obscurity. And Age of Vikings is one of them, but it does things so well here. Who knows? Maybe someone will watch this video or pick it up again and continue where the original modder left off. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you think about Age of Vikings for Attila's Age of Charlemagne. Subscribe for more Total War content gameplay and mod spotlights just like this. And thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.